All right, let's go out to LeVar Arrington's crib. LeVar, you just heard me and uh, Marcellus give Darnell some advice on handling the coronavirus <laughs> lockdown. Yeah. How did you yeah. prepare for this lockdown? You know, this is how I prepared for my lockdown, guys. You can multitask with this, okay? <laughs> Everybody talks about drinking their sanitizer. No, you don't drink your sanitizer. You get you a nice jug of wine and you clean up things while you have a sip. I mean, that's just how I'm working over here. You already know, Marcella. You know what I mean? Getting your drink. I'm going to get 58 roll. I'm going to get 58 <laughs> gallons of, of, of that oil, not no, no paper towels or, or some toilet <laughs> tissue. <laughs> If I go out, right, I want to go out on. like that. Indeed. <laughs> let's move on to Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans and a silly rumor, in my opinion, that somehow Deshaun Watson could end up with the New England Patriots. This has all been fueled over social media, of course. Tyler Conway of Bleacher Report tweeted out some Drake lyric and had a picture of Bill Belichick on the phone that kind of insinuated that Belichick may be trying to swing a deal for Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, because he's bored, liked the tweet. And so now people are like, is there some truth here? Could DeAndre Hopkins <laughs> departing Houston have caused Deshaun Watson to want out of Houston? Is this rumor silly or is there substance to it, Marcellus? Um, it's silly overall. There is a little substance in, in, in respect that if you're Deshaun Watson, obviously you lose Hopkins and you don't even get fair value for him. You have to feel a certain way about that, and it's not good. Uh, but at the same time, you wanting out is not the same as another team wanting you there, especially the New England Patriots, who are not a quarterback away from getting over the hump. Let's just be real. Tom Brady's not there whoever's on the roster, whether it's Stidham or whatever they draft, that's what they're going to roll with because they are not a quarterback away. They're weapons away. We're talking about receivers, running backs. They're weapons. They need to, or tight end. They need an arsenal that will support a quarterback, and then they're a quarterback away. But this leaky water hose, not one piece of tape is going to fix it in New England. And even if it's as great as Deshaun Watson, he's not going to be enough. LeVar? I think there's great validity to it. I think when we've already found out from the way uh, O'Brien is handling things that he doesn't want something or somebody distracting or taking away from his leadership within that, that organization. And this DeAndre Hopkins situation could have spurned or, or facilitated, you know, Deshaun Watson feeling a certain type of way possibly speaking on on levels that that may make Bill O'Brien uncomfortable. We know that that they're not a quarterback away in New England, but if you get a quarterback like Deshaun Watson, you're certainly closer to being where you're trying to be with him there versus trying to figure out who the quarterback of the future is going to be. So, you know, with a tinfoil hat on and 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 you know, sitting here with my conspiracy theory, Bill O'Brien has has ultimately placed himself in a situation where he may end up losing his job off of this DeAndre Hopkins situation. He's going to end up back in New England at some point anyway with like Marcellus, right? So why not send your quarterback <laughs> there before you get kicked out and you go be his offensive coordinator the rest of the way? That's the best point you made is that there is a bullseye on Bill O'Brien. And it's not just about DeAndre Hopkins. You got to remember he gave up major assets last year to get Laramie Tunstall over there, mm -hmm. and people thought that was a bad trade. Him working as head coach general manager, in a lot of people's minds, has been a disaster. However, there's no one in Houston, no one, who would allow this man to send the, uh, Deshaun <laughs> Watson to the New England Patriots. It, what, mm. what would the Patriots have to offer? The McCourty brothers? Uh, uh, Tom Brady's Hall of Fame yeah. plaque, Ty Law's Hall of Fame plaque. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Deshaun Watson is perhaps the closest thing to Patrick Mahomes. And that's not that close, but it's the closest thing to Patrick Mahomes. And you're going to send him to New England? Are you kidding me? No way in hell. This is a silly rumor, LeVar. I can't believe 
you're giving this a moment's worth of credibility. If we would have said that about DeAndre would Hopkins, we would have said that's a silly rumor. We would say it's a silly rumor. Well, hearing no, about no, Hopkins. no. A diva wide yes, receiver getting would. traded? That, that yes, happens. We... Listen, listen. The ghost of David Stern would come back and stop this trade. It would be just like the Chris Paul trade if they that's tried true. to move Deshaun Watson <laughs> to New England Patriots. Football fans would have the right to riot. I mean, to write, you're going to hand Bill Belichick Deshaun Watson in his prime, a guy with that kind of character, that kind of pizzazz, that kind of commitment to the game. This is, this is silly talk over social media. Deshaun Watson just having some fun. Marcellus, I know you agree with me. Yeah, yeah. You had me when you said pizzazz. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way, <laughs> ain't no way they're gonna let somebody with pizzazz out of Houston. So <laughs> no, nah, I'm with you, man. But you know it's weird. We live in a time where Stefan Diggs, Stefan Diggs goes on Twitter because he's unhappy in Minnesota. He's been there for a while, unhappy. And because of that, other teams got interested and started to make the trade, and they got a first rounder for Stefan Diggs, who's great. But Hopkins is more. And they didn't get the same fair value back. So which way is up in Houston right now is a conversation. So as crazy as this sounds, this is as crazy as Houston is acting right now. So who knows how it could play out. All right, let's move to another topic very quickly here. Jameis Winston. He's on the block. He's, he's The Tampa Bay's moved on from him. What's a better landing spot for Jameis Winston? The Pittsburgh Steelers or the New England Patriots? I can see the Patriots having some interest in Jameis Winston. Which one would be a better landing spot, Steelers or Patriots? Ah, man, this is such a tight so, one. They both have benefits, pros and cons. I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, before I say that, though, I just want everyone to know that when I get released or not picked up, by a team. I know it, it sounds great that, oh, I'm going to go make some calls for you and talk in good favor of you, but the best favor is not talking about me, is actually doing something for me. So I don't know if teams receive that with a grain of salt, because if Jameis Winston was all that, at least make some form of offer, even if you got Tom Brady, because Brady's not playing forever. That said, uh, Pittsburgh, one, the backup has been getting exposure more so with the injury to Ben Roethlisberger. Two, the situation in terms of having a strong defense that's going to keep you in these games um, is going to be a, a great situation. New England this year, we know offensively they're going to be challenged. And defensively, we thought that they were a little overhyped, uh, a little, little worse than the numbers suggested. So Pittsburgh just seems like a more solid opportunity and maybe an opportunity, a glimpse of hope to get an old Roethlisberger out of there sooner than later. LeVar? Yeah, I think it's easily Pittsburgh. I think it's a, a softer landing point for Jameis Winston. If you're looking at the history and the ability to take a quarterback and give him an opportunity after having a career somewhere else, I mean, Mike Vick is the first name that comes to mind for me and taking a, a, a interesting situation from his past and turning it into a positive one. We keep talking about hey, Jameis hold Winston. Hold for a second, LeVar. LeVar, yeah, hold sure. for a second. There's major uh -huh. news has happened. Major news has happened. Listening to both you and Marcellus talk, oh, here we I've go. now concluded here we Bill go. Belichick has retired. Bill Belichick has retired because, I mean, clearly, going to play for the coach who, who took a six-round pick and made him the greatest quarterback of all time. Oh, that's terrible. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers offer a better opportunity than that? Are you kidding me? Oh. He gets a Hold chance on, to play Steve. for Bill oh. Belichick that made Tom Brady the greatest of all time, but that's not... And he's got a chance to start and not sit behind Ben Roethlisberger? Bill Belichick's retired. Okay. Uh, Hold I'm, on. Just Hold on, Stephen A. Whitlock. Uh oh I, I got this, Stephen <laughs> A. Whitlock. Hey, look here. Look here. It's going, it's going to be very I ain't lost difficult. that much weight. <laughs> I know, that's right. It's going to be difficult to come in. It's not about Bill Belichick. It's about fitting into what you have to fit into after that void left by arguably the greatest football player and possibly team sports football player, player in general, and period. So I, when you look at what can take place, yes, the coaching is superior. I, I would give you that. But 
if I'm looking at the opportunities that exist, I get to learn from a Hall of Famer who's on his last leg, which, by the way, I could end up starting at any given point in time during the course of the season. And I have a coach that I know for certain that I'll be able to relate to in a way where he really wants to maximize what he what it is that you can get out of we gotta as go. a player. I, Thank I, God I Pittsburgh. brought this toilet paper with me. Oh, because that's look, a lot of crap on, you just man. spilled. Oh, uh, spilled well, yeah. well if you need me, to all clean right, Uncle it up, Jimmy's I, around the corner. Get, I'm gonna clean we'll it up. Give you our it. approval rating for Cam Newton. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.